personally, I thought the marketplace was a really, really safe place to purchase. Because a Bargersville woman is sharing a lesson she learned the hard way after using the Facebook marketplace for a major purchase. Mandy Hollingsworth thought she was getting a good deal on a refrigerator, but as RTV6's Cornelius Hawker shows you, that deal has turned into an expensive problem. Like so many of us, Mandy Hollingsworth uses Facebook Marketplace to buy things directly from people in her community. You bought before, you bought a washer and dryer and it was fine. I did. Yeah. It was fine. I paid cash. Everything was fine. And that's why I thought, okay, this is, this is perfect. This stainless steel refrigerator was listed online for $650. The seller claiming it even included a warranty. After going back and forth with the seller, everything was set. Mandy, agreeing to pay cash for the fridge, giving them an extra $40 to have it delivered, totaling $690. When the gentleman delivered the refrigerator, he said, please wait an hour because of the Freon. At this point, Mandy says she still had no reason to think anything was fishy because she had done her research. The person on Facebook Marketplace had good reviews. An hour, probably about 20 minutes later, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and try it. I plugged in the electric cord and nothing happened. She waited just a bit longer, hoping it would kick on, but then reality set in. The fridge wasn't getting cold and she had been scammed. About 15 minutes later, I looked on my receipt. There was a number provided and called the number and the lady was like, no. She goes, I'm sorry. She goes, I've never ever delivered appliances. I've never sold appliances on the marketplace. After looking online, Mandy saw this has happened to at least one other person where she lives. Someone using a bogus business name, Shadeland Appliances, and selling a broken refrigerator. Considering this post with a warning about Shadeland Appliances was from 2017, there's no telling how many people this has happened to. People like Mandy who've lost money not only on a broken fridge, but also replacing all this food and buying a refrigerator that actually works. My message is definitely to do your research and don't trust everybody on the marketplace. Mandy tells me it would be great to get all that money back, but she's not counting on that. So she plans to go to the police to hopefully have them investigate this scam to stop it from happening to anyone else. Working for you, I'm Cornelius Hawker for RTV6. Unfortunately, scams like this have been happening since Facebook Marketplace started a few years ago. Facebook urges users to get all identifying information they can about a person before meeting up to make a trade. You can even meet at police stations to buy smaller items, but if a seller has to come to your house, write down their license plate info so you can have something to share with police if it turns out to be a scam.